WIS News Primetime. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us for WIS News Primetime. I'm Hannah Burbank. Every weekday at 730, we'll be here to tell the untold stories of kindness, community and hope across the Midlands. Tonight we revisit the home of Margot Means, a woman who we first introduced you to a couple weeks back who lives with ALS. This time we didn't just get to talk with her. She was joined by someone who looks to make her days a little brighter. After first airing Margot's story on WIS, a viewer and landscaper reached out to us in an effort to do something nice for Margot. Our very own Christina Thacker joins us live in the studio after sitting down with Margot once again and getting to learn a little bit more about this new blossoming friendship. Yes, Hannah. So we have covered people living with ALS in the past and to see a viewer reach out and want to do something nice for her, I knew I had to help make that happen. So after talking with Mark and Margot, I was able to witness their meeting and Mark's act of kindness firsthand. Like the trees and the grass, kindness can grow from anywhere. I couldn't believe it, a total stranger. Here, one person's story of perseverance is another's inspiration to lend a helping hand. What made you decide to do this? You touched me, girl. Okay. Mark Woods owns a landscaping business. It's a job that brings him lots of joy. But the best part of his day is seeing the smiles of those he serviced. And here, he services someone pretty special. It's definitely my passion. And uh, I, I look forward to trying to bring some joy to Margot here. Um, I've seen her story, I was really touched by it. And she's such a resilient fighter in face of all the adversity that she has going on. Margot Means lives with ALS. She's lost all mobility in every part of her body. Her voice is all that's left. And yet, each day she chases a dream. A dream to live every day to the fullest, despite her condition. Her voice echoed through the Midlands and touched the heart of a stranger. I said, my yard, are you serious? Flowers, are you serious? It's, it's uh, just a little, it's just a little something, girl. No, um, listen, Mark, my father was like you. Uh, when you give of your time, that's giving of yourself. To me, that's the best type of donation. After hearing her story, Mark came to Margot's home and performed complimentary lawn services. And as he sculpts each bush and plants each flower, he reveals what motivated him to step up. Always build trust and always be trustworthy and that will come back to you a hundredfold. And, and uh, I'm just glad that, that, that I can be a part of like bringing her some happiness and, and something to look at outside her window and enjoy. Connections stemming from conversations. The pair find they're more alike than one might think. Mark is an Air Force veteran, just like Margot's late husband, they each know what it means to fight and what it means to hurt. The favorite thing that I did, the, let's see, well, meeting Mark. I'm looking at him and we're talking, having a conversation, and he tells me that he too is retired from the military, which branch Air Force, just like my husband. So we're, we're finding that we have a whole lot more in common. From the fruits of Mark's labor, something beautiful blooms, more beautiful than any flower or any lawn, a new friendship. Absolutely, if Mark's game, I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm always different. I, I love people and I like having people around. I really do, yeah. Uh, you know, that's the thing about fighting a disease like this. Sometimes people get the idea that you want to be left alone. Not true in my case. Always comment on how nice and hospitable people are here. Reporting in Columbia, Christina Thacker, WIS News 10. Oh, Isn't that so that's sweet? precious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, Margot's spirit is charging full steam ahead when it comes to living her life to the fullest. Anyone who feels inspired to reach out to her can reach out to her by email, which is on your screen right now. More resources that are available to help her will be available on our website when you search this story. Christian, that story gave me chills. Oh it really gosh. did. There's you precious. know, and in the moment when you're seeing this yeah. act of kindness and just 
it brings you to tears. It really Absolutely. does. I had to, I had to, when I went home, I was. <laughs> I, I'm about to right now, so I really do appreciate it. Thank you for sharing that of with us. Course. It was beautifully told. And thank you guys for all that y'all have done. That's so sweet, Christina. Thank you, Hannah. All right, well, let's go ahead and get a check of our first alert weather because, Adam, it has been a pretty active day out there. Yes, we've got some showers and storms.